<clears throat> the Bible says to buy and sell. It says, you know, in the book of Revelation, throughout the Bible, it just says buy, buy gold from me, buy uh, anointing, buy oil, buy... Oh, this will be free. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it starts talking. Just look it up. It starts to say buy and sell. And, you know, it's almost like a market, right? But then, like, for me, the longer I walk with God, the more things become clear to me, right? But, like, the first times you read stuff, it just doesn't make any sense. How can I buy it, right? Um, But, like, I, I watched some stuff yesterday on P. Diddy. Uh, he, he's circulating through the news now and all his perversion of like being like living that lifestyle and stuff like that like I felt dirty like just watching his stuff man just like learning about like the worldly stuff right so when I plugged in there like it resonated in my head like the resin the the, the aftermath the it, it started to linger there I'm just like man you know I don't like I just wanted to be filled in on what's going on, right? But I didn't want it to, to carry the load of what the world is doing. I don't care about that stuff. So I know that's a lot of us out there. A lot of us is carrying the dirt of this world. And real quick video, uh, when it says buy and sell in the video, I mean in the Bible. So like this morning, I was just saying like, uh, I'm trading. I'm trading, you know, my works or... I'm trading my filth for God's righteousness. I'm trading uh, the things that that um, that I bring to the table that I am right now, currently. I'm trading it for the things of the kingdom of God, right? And so it's just like my robes for God's robes, my righteousness for God for Jesus's uh, righteousness, right? Like I don't want anything that belongs to me, anything that I can concoct, anything that I can concoct. Through my own efforts, energy, works, etc. It's all filthy. That's what the Bible says. It's all filthy rags to God. Why? Because my measure of what I consider good, God considers to be not good. So, for lack of a better word. So, so what I want to do, I want to, uh, and, and the Spanish word is entregarme. I want to just surrender. I want to give myself just like you would uh, give your car to a mechanic, you want to give yourself to to the Lord, so you can say everything that doesn't line up with your kingdom and your character and your person, uh, everything from my intellect, my the way I think, the way I look, the way I feel, the, everything, I buy and sell. I buy the stuff from you, your kingdom. I purchase it. I I believe it. I receive it. I ask for it, and I trade. I trade all this filth. The Bible says he'll give you beauty for ashes. So God's like, you know, it's not that it's a fair trade. Obviously it's not, but God is good. So then I trade the stuff that this world wants to give to me. But it's dirty. It's filthy. It's 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 got this uh, um, demonic feel to it. I trade all that. I don't want it. I give it to you, Lord. But what I do ask for you in return is that you wash me, you cleanse me, you give me white robes, you give me gold robes, you give me your righteousness, you give me your intellect, your mindset, your thoughts. And the more you do that, you'll find that you're cleansing yourself and you feel different. The evidence there is that the filth that you felt before the video, I mean, the before the prayer, left you. And that's what you want to look for. You want to look that that what you feel that's heavy, a burden, stress, yokes, all these things, you don't have to live with it. You don't have to go throughout your day depressed. The very fact that you may not want to work, um, pray and this and that might be a spirit. Just that in of itself. The lack of enthusiasm, the lack of energy, the lack of drive, the lack of vision that you have. All of that is spiritual behind the scenes. And you think it's you. But all you have to do is, like, remove that go those garments, that those garments are not yours. It's you're, you, you have the wrong belief system. You have the wrong mindset. You have the wrong identity. And you go to the dress room of heaven, and you say, I need to be dressed the way God thinks, right? 
his faith, his righteousness, his holiness, his purity, his his eyes to see, his ears. And so you go over there and you say, God, tailor made me. You know, here I am. I, I, I look this way, but I want to look like you, right? And by faith, you just receive it. You just receive it, right? And then you feel different. But then there may be some things that left you that you traded in and that you sold and you bought new things and you may be half-dressed. You may have on nice pants, and, and but you you may still need a shirt. You, and by, by that, I mean that you feel good in this area, but you don't feel good in this area. And so you want to pinpoint where it is that you don't feel good. Is it in your heart? Is your heart heavy? Is your heart have unbelief? Does your heart is your heart hardened? Okay, God, I trade in this hard heart, this unbelieving heart, this wicked heart, and I pray for your heart instead. Like, remove this heart. Give me your heart, and wait for a response from God. Wait in expectancy and faith that God's gonna meet you where you are at. In Jesus' name.